Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at yet another PTFS update. Um, and guys, this update was just released about 40 minutes ago, so it is looking very fresh and new. And so here is a summary of the whole update um, that was posted on the PTFS Discord Wiki um, server. And before we get into the details, please consider liking and subscribing and make sure to join the Discord server. Uh, the link is in the description. Okay, so the first thing that was added to the game is a remodeling of the SR-71 Blackbird. So guys, if you guys don't know what the Blackbird plane is, it is a fighter jet that was made by famous fighter jet maker Lockheed Martin. It could reach speeds of up to Mach 3, but it was unfortunately retired in 1999. And guys, there was already a SR-71 Blackbird in the game, but however, it lacked detail. The overall texture wasn't very good. It was just like the 747 before it was remodeled. So there was already leaks uh, about Orange planning a remodel on the SR-71 Blackbird. A few weeks back, he did a poll on the PTC official Discord server uh, for users to choose which plane should be remodeled next. And looks like it's looking, it was looking like the SR-71 was winning. And the development experience stated that um, the project should be finished sometime between February 3rd and February 10th, with which they were smack on releasing the update right at the 3rd of February. And this new uh, update added a very interesting feature to the SR-71, which are openable canopies. So apparently the, we can actually open the canopy in the actual plane, which we couldn't do it before the actual remodel. So we've got the plane right here. It needs a game pass um, and the game pass costs. Okay, I'm gonna buy the NASA game pass. Okay, the game pass costs 95 Robux and it is not very good for my wallet. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to buy it. And boom, we got it. Okay, so we've just spawned the plane right here and it is looking nice and sleek and fast. These two turbo engines. Um, from the flashy NASA logo with 844 under the logo and um, so far it's looking really good it reminds me a lot of Top Gun Maverick yeah uh, yeah it is it is looking really detailed I actually couldn't take a look of the previous SR-71 Blackbird because well I didn't buy it you know but I now that I do now um, I can really appreciate the effort that PTFS devs put into put into it so, okay, so let's see if this can actually... Oh, like that, like that. We've got the openable canopy. I'm pretty sure it works on the pilot seat. Yup, it does. Wow, I've never seen that in PTFS before. Uh, okay, so we've... Like that, we've got openable canopies on this SR-71, which we couldn't. We can even close this if we close, click it like here. And then go into the pilot seat. And then I'm pretty sure we can click uh, close it from here too. Yep, like that, we can actually do that even inside the cockpit, which is really cool. If we click open here and then zoom in, boom, we've got the canopy just opening right in front of our eyes. I'm actually going to fly with them open just, just for the sake of funsies. All right, let's turn the engine on. Uh, have it to max thrust. No 80%, just max thrust. And I'm going to say, oh, oh, it actually automatically closes, which is also a really cool feature. I mean, it's for safety purposes, I guess. Okay, so the takeoff speed is about around 160 knots. Let's see how fast this plane can reach. Okay, so it's hit 300 knots right now and it's still going strong. Those those fighter jet engines are looking really good. Okay, we're at the 430, okay, 450 mark. 500. So in real life, this plane can reach up to Mach 3. So let's see if we can actually do that in the PTFS. Okay, 750. This is probably faster than most fighter planes in this game. Okay, we're at 9.30. Uh, we're, about to hit a Mach one. we're about to hit Mach 1. And boom, like that, we've got Mach 1. And crazy thing is, we're still going strong. According to my brainy calculations, um, the plane should be able to reach 3,000 knots. Wow, this is fast. Okay, we're at the 1,600 knots, Mac. 
Wait, we actually can hit to 2,100? Oh, that's kind of sad. Looks like the plane speed is capped at around 1,900 knots. Which, even though it didn't meet up to my expectations, it's still incredibly fast. So, we just put it in like 90 degree and just wait like 3 seconds and we're already at 8,000 feet. Ain't that crazy? Okay guys, now it's time to move on to the second feature which is the addition of a whole new airport. Yup. Ain't that crazy guys, PTFS just, um, PTFS just added the McConnell Air Force Base in the newest update, which you guys can see right here, this is the Air Force Base looking really good, got two pretty long runaways I say, um, there were also a lot of leaks about this feature as well in the PTFS Discord server, which I'll flash some of them right on the screen here. But yeah guys, I'm just I'm just really happy that an, a new airport has finally been added to the game. This thing's got a lot of stuff too. It's, it, it looks like it really does look like a military airbase. We've got these ground crew stations that I first thought were bunkers. Um, we've got these we got a ton of these buildings which hold on let me see which what these are supposed to be. Okay, so these things look like these things all look like hangers um yeah these also have the open and close button which if i if i close up if, if i click the open button it should open and like that we've got the lovely hanger right there this one's really big it, it looks like it could probably fit like an a320 in here but yeah guys i think that'll be it of this update this was really more like of like a military update more than a commercial one with the new and updated SR-71 inside the lovely huge hangars of the uh, McConnell Air Force Base. Looking really good. Okay, and with that guys, I think this can be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.